Hello all, I am Dikshit Reddy I belong to uh, group 9 in the KDD project. Now I am going to speak about the topic agglomerative clustering. First, let's see what is an agglomerative approach briefly. Uh, it is shortly known as HSE, uh, which means hierarchical agglomerative clustering. Uh, it is a most common type of hierarchical clustering and uh, uh, this is used for uh, grouping the objects in clusters uh, based on the similarity also this is a basic principle rule uh, behind this uh, it is also known as agnes uh, which stands for agglomerative nesting so basically here we start by uh, assuming each data object uh, given in the data as an uh, individual cluster. So <clears throat> if we see this picture, let's consider these individual objects as a single cluster. And uh, let's say this cluster and this cluster are similar. And in the next step, we merge these two clusters into a single cluster, which is FG. So this process continues until an, there is a, there is only a single cluster which has all the objects in it. So basically uh, the agglomerative approach is a bottom-up approach. Now uh, let's deep dive into the concept of agglomerative approach uh, with an example. We follow the same bottom-up approach in this. Uh, uh, we start by uh, um, assuming uh, each individual object as a single cluster. So here, A, B, C, D, and E are considered as an individual objects in this step. At step zero, <clears throat> let's say we have uh, we have n as an uh, number of uh, clusters. So as we have five clusters, the value of n is five. At step one, we merge the clusters uh, which are close to each other. Let's say a and b are uh, close to each other. So we merge uh, these individual clusters into a single cluster, which is a, b. Now uh, we need not consider the individual clusters A and B. So we discard these two individual clusters. So the N value becomes four, which are A, B, C, D, and E. Um, in the next step, uh, we merge object D and object E as they are uh, close to each other. So this forms DE as a single cluster. So in the next step, we merge C uh, with, the, with the cluster DE into a single cluster CDE. The last step, we, only we are only left with the cluster AB and CDE. So, uh, we merge these two clusters in to form a single cluster with all the data objects. So uh, this is how uh, agglomerative approach works. The same is written in the words here. Um, at the start, uh, each object is a cluster and uh, from then we merge two clusters which are most similar to each other until all the objects are merged uh, into a single cluster. So the uh, basic criteria uh, which, which says two clusters are similar can be uh, either a Euclidean distance or the similarity measure. The, there are some uh, limitations too in this approach. Uh, it requires large number of uh, large storage, uh, which makes the computation process a little complex and uh, the algorithm are uh, are uh, four times the size of k-means algorithm. As merging cannot be reversed, uh, it creates some mess uh, when the data is to be pre-processed. That's it.